It depends on what move. Um, in the air, yes. Uh, when it comes to raw aerial speed, but then like, you know, Cloud has the frame 7 up B, which is faster than Prom's frame 10. So okay, the Atta Shield game is going to be going to Cloud, but in the air to air, Cloud is going to have to be a little bit more preemptive than Prom. Yeah, it looks like we're just getting right into it. And yep. Yeah, there's the up B out of Shield. Wow, excellent catch with the side B there, recognizing that he was in the air. Very good anti air coming out from Julian to Jay. Yeah, there, there it is again, cowling out a, a landing option, getting an up air forward. And okay, text away from the F throw. Right. Yeah, that was a good landing side B calling out uh, trying, um, Jay trying to dash in there. Mm -hmm. and um, Yeah, the side B mix-up is always good because versus Krom especially, people are always looking for parries. So with Krom, when they mix up with a multi-hit side B, it throws a lot of people off and hits them out of their shield drop. Yeah, missing the tech, getting dash attacked. Um, yeah. Low in, Krom having a pretty good edge trapping. Uh, but Jay getting able, being able to get off the ledge with that up B. And yep. Excellent spacing on that back air. Jay's looking for you. Yep, caught the landing with the from the uh, falling up air from from Edmund. Yeah. Tried to catch landing there with I think maybe pivot cancel F tilt, but Edmund was a little bit too high. See if he's able to close the stock out here. Goes for the dash attack two frame, yep. but um, holding his position at the ledge. Try to react to the jump, but Edmund mixed up his drift last second. Very good awareness from him. Classic cloud. Let's yeah. jump side B. Use the invincibility on it to throw off your opponent. It's so quick. Most people get hit by it. <laughs> Right. Read the roll with the down tilt, positioned himself very well. Caught the landing with the side B, incredibly yeah, he, incredible stuff. That's the second time he's done that. He's calling out landings with side B and up air, and yep. that's a lot of percent. Side B just covers so much space. You think they're going to jump, you think they're going to jump in, away. No matter how you drift in that spot, if they time it right, it will hit you. Yeah, but uh, Lowen taking the stock with the forward tilt there. Okay. Yep. I've been pressuring him on the platform. Got hit by the landing bear coming down from the platform. Yeah, there's another one of those side Bs, I mean. And there's the dash attack. If you uh, end up wow. recovering too too close to the ledge there and you don't immediately snap clouds, love to dash attack that. And, and that's he, got the, he got the bear on the drift in there, too. Mm -hmm. It was incredibly well timed. Missed the punish on the up B. You have to be very quick on that. It has deceptively low lag. Another landing caught with side B. Yeah, Jay's very aware of the space of how far he is away from Edmund when he's landing. Staying at side B range, able to get the punish with that disjoint consistently. Edmund has to be very careful on how he on how he lands next to Cloud. Jumping in from a little bit too far away, and Jay's gonna be able to call out for free. Okay, caught the mistech. Let's see if Edmund can get something started here. Yes, caught the immediate like the very beginning of the left jump from Julian. Using the limit to recover back to Sage. Ooh. Okay. He had the right call on the roll read, but no, uh, he didn't pull the trigger on his punish there. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no, just air dodging past the ledge. Air dodge is a little bit too low there, unable to snap the ledge. And Jay's going to be taking that first game over Edmund. Uh, Jay, Jay looking really solid on the catching landings. Yeah. And um, I think what I'm seeing a lot of is Jay just dash dancing in and out of Crumb's burst range. Yeah. Um, not allowing him to get those down tilts or the drift in nares and, and calling out landings when he um, gets those pop-up moves that he needs. Yep. And Jay's... He's avoiding jumping too close to Krom because he knows that, you know, in the air to air game, super up close, Krom is better in that in like in that spot versus Cloud. But Jay's like a lot of the time he's catching his landings because Edmund's jumping from a little bit too far away. Instead of like dash and then jump up close, he'll jump from far away and drift in with an aerial, giving Jay a lot of time to react with side B. Yeah. So let's see if he's gonna be able to make an adjustment on that this game. Alrighty. Going into game two, I did not see what stage they picked. I, I didn't either, <laughs> to be honest with you. Right, oh, right. Smashville. Oh, no, no sorry, Town yeah, and City. You're good, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Once and again, he's going to be able to catch the, the landing up air from, from Krom. Krom uh, Cloud's added shield, especially on high aerials on shield like that, are incredibly effective at punishing. And yeah. yeah, I mean, Jay just calling out more landing using up tilt instead of the other uh, yeah. side B or up air. He yeah, didn't even bother to shield in that spot. Recognize, okay, you're on top of me. I have a disjoint that can straight up beat you instead of giving you the parry mix up. Ooh. Tried to catch the jump, but Jay delayed it just enough to catch the ledge and not get hit by the F smash. Ooh, wow, that was very wow. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, control on Cloud right now that, that Jay has. He has him on lock. Yeah, jump right over the projectile from Edmund. 
have been not drifting into him as much as last game, and wow. Yeah, but still not <laughs> being able to drift quite enough. Jay drifting in with the back air, and that's yeah. going to close the stock out. Jay recognized that Edwin was jumping straight up instead yeah. of forward. Got the punish, and then caught the double jump back. Very nice stuff. Able to catch landing with the F-Tilt there. Let's see if he's able to make something happen at the ledge here. Spaced himself a little bit too far away. Wow, that was really good. Using the um, the fast landing or fast fall with the up air to bait out the counter, hit it, activate it, and get a side before it. And once again, gonna be able to punish the high aerial and shield with up B there. Krom's aerials, he can shield clouds up B, but he has to time his moves very low on shield. And um, a lot of Edmonds are timed high, so he's getting true punished a lot of the time. And Julian's building up this lead even more. Ooh, Almost wow. got the read on there, but Edmund at the very last second drifted back, recognized that he was gonna get hit by that if he didn't. But yeah. Jay did have a good read. Nice ledge trump. Okay. Oh, wow, what a trade. Yeah. Jay, uh, Jay tried to drift in there, and Edmund just got the straight up punish. Okay, they're both looking for aerials out of shields. Barely missing on all fronts. Yeah, I, I don't think Jay's uh, trying to contest that up B, especially when it's high above the ledge. He's just uh, opting to ledge trap and calling a jump and getting an up smash out of shield. My goodness. Uh, missing the platform take ch tech chase just a little bit, but uh, Jay with the covering the landings once again. It's interesting how he's going for a lot more uh, Edmonds, going for a lot more forward throw tech chases than uh, Prom's down throw combos. Wow, very good spacing on that back. We're able to cover his landing there. Missed the punish out of shield. Probably thought the down tilt would cross him Ooh. off. Wow, and Jay is covering his drift in. He recognized that he wanted to jump back to center stage because he was scared in the corner. Nice, that time. So Edmund's been drifting back every time he jumped. That time he drifted forward, pressed the button, recognized that he'd drift closer into J J uh, Jay's range than he'd expect. Oh, going really far out for that back air, not connecting, but... Tech chase again. Gonna land safely away on the platform. Doesn't want to lose his stock early here. Yeah, you have to applaud Edmund to uh, mixing up the landing a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, making it a little harder for Jay to get those uh, juggle situations. He's definitely starting to land safer um, away from him instead of always looking for a hit on his way down. But it could be too little too late now that he's down by so much. But of course, you know, can't count him out yet. Yes, hit him right out, right out of the uh, start of a cross slash there. And uh, that burns your limit. Yep. Ooh, another one of those counters. Jay not getting a punish on the miss counter, but a scramble situation nonetheless. Uh, could have got a kill punish there, but instead he gets the nair. Has him at the corner, though. Is he going to be able to seal out this ledge trap? Oh, wow. yeah, using the dash attack <laughs> as a burst option. Just, Incredible. Yeah, calling out the, the dash.